What's going on, YouTube? Um, today we have a special guest. Uh, it is Shadow. He is the most handsome dog around. Um, there's no debating that. Uh, so anyways, today's tutorial is how to turn a zebra stripes into Oreos. Um, you may have seen similar photos, but I wanted to show beginners just how to do it and how easy it is to do it in Photoshop. Let's jump into it. So starting off, I'm going to be using the pen tool and tracing around the back legs as well as the front legs. Um, after I finish my tracing, I'm going to copy and paste these into a new layer on top of the layer that has the full zebra. That way when I go in with the clone stamp tool and add the grass in, these legs, uh, they won't be affected. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So after I've copy and pasted the legs into a new layer on top of the main layer, I'm going to click back on the main layer that has the zebra and I'm going to bring out the clone stamp tool. So still making sure I'm on that background layer that has the full zebra and not the legs that are copy and pasted, I'm using the clone stamp tool to put sections of the grass into the midsection of the zebra. And as I do it, you'll kind of see where I select and, and kind of where I clone stamp it. That way the, the image in the background stays cohesive. So I now I want to bring in a picture of the Oreos I'm going to use. So I'm going to end up actually using just one Oreo. It's this middle one. Um, it's kind of the flattest one I could find. So I'm literally just going to use the pen tool and I'm going to trace around this Oreo and copy and paste it out. So with the transformation tool, I'm able to rotate, um, scale up and down and kind of get it to fit next to the zebra how I want it to fit. That way it looks like it's almost the same size as, as, same size as where the midsection was. I'm gonna put this copy and pasted Oreo behind the layer of the legs. That way the, the zebra's leg stands in front and it kind of helps the Oreo uh, resemble that midsection of the zebra. I'm using my selection tool to kind of go over the Oreo. It's kind of a yellow creamy right now and it doesn't quite match the zebra's uh, white stripes. So I'm selecting it, I'm, uh, changing the hue, saturation all the way down so that way it's a pure white and there's no more yellow. I'm also making the, uh, the, the chocolate sides of the Oreo um, black and white. And then I'm going to also lower the darkness uh, and change the opacity a little bit. That way it matches the, the blackness of the zebra stripes. I wasn't crazy about the cutout I did, so I'm just going in and erasing these harsher lines. That way the Oreo looks a little bit more natural. So now that I've got the Oreo where I wanted it and the scaling I want it, now it's time I'm going to copy and paste this layer. So I'm adding a new, same exact Oreo, but to a new layer. And then I'm just going to bring it to the left a little bit and adjust it how I want it to be. Copy and pasting it a couple more times. Um, I ended up adding one too many that I wanted. So I'm going to use the transform tool. Um, Control T is a shortcut. And I'm just going to scale it uh, a little bit left and a little bit up and down just to make sure it fits the body how I want it to fit. i am created a new layer now and I'm actually drawing with the brush tool just a black simple brush. Uh, and I'm gonna lower the opacity to kind of help it feel like the Oreo has a drop shadow or like it connects to the skin a little bit better. So I'm gonna do that on both sides. So 
So color correcting is kind of what brings every image um, cohesive when you're doing photo ma manipulation. So this one, I chose this filter. You can choose any filter you want or you don't even have to use one. This is just a LUT that I like. So it kind of brings all the yellows to the same hue as well as the darks. So I know during these tutorials, uh, I'm recording myself over and over and over again because I lose my train of thought. It's probably the ADD in me. Uh, I will get better as time goes along. So thank you guys for your patience and thank you for enjoying my art. And uh, please, if you did enjoy this and you made it through, please make sure to subscribe. It sure helps me a lot. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks.